Hello beautiful, we're gonna do some tarot today. The energy is super sexy and Hermit just came out. Not a very sexy card, <laughs> but we like it. Um, the energy is like potent today. I don't know when I'm gonna post this, but there are already cards flying out. Okay, so you got the star in reverse, the five of swords in reverse, and the 10 of pentacles in the upright. So I'm really feeling like these, the star the star and the five of swords go hand in hand. <clears throat> I feel like you've been healing. Um, I just heard hermit mode, so it makes sense that we saw the hermit. You've been healing, you've been working on yourself, you've been focusing on a dream while you've been resting. Um, and you have really been coming out of, yeah, my neck and head just started hurting. You're coming out of a really stressed out, um, chaotic period of time, whether this was through someone else, through a specific situation, you know, only you will know. Um, but you are about to step in. Wow, a hummingbird just flew right by the window singing, um, which is always a good sign. And obviously, well, for those of you that know, this is a very, very abundant card. Uh, this represents generational wealth. Just kind of having all your ducks in a row, being stable, being grounded, having fulfillment, feeling fulfilled, feeling accomplished, creating something long lasting. Um, so these, all these other cards flew out as well. Wow, spirit. Wow. Okay. King of swords, justice in the reverse and page of uh, wands. This is not the first time that, that justice came out in the reverse with this exact deck, which is interesting because it shows a woman also upright in this reverse position, which, um, to me indicates that there's still a sense of balance here. You're coming out of a period of needing to set really strong boundaries and protect yourself this depiction of the king of swords especially represents that to me but he, you know he just looks so independent and he's up here on this mountain just kind of like in his own world you know he's not too concerned about what other people are doing he's got his hand on his sword here he's just ready to cut any bullshit like right out i'm also being drawn to the owl which is all about wisdom seeing from a higher perspective being in touch with your god and your angels all these birds um, you are about to step into a passionate era of creativity, of self-expression. Being able to express yourself for who you truly are instead of pretending. Thank you, Spirit. Like you're somebody you're not. Pretending that you don't have a spark to share with the world, that you're not special. You've been pretending that you weren't here to stir up magic and change. Just look at this. I love this depiction, my favorite. Um, okay, so that's where we are. Spirit, thank you so much. We're off to an amazing start. What else do you have for us? All right, you got the Eight of Swords. You have been trapping yourself through your mental processes. You've been holding on to old patterns, maybe thought patterns, ways of thinking of yourself, seeing the world. Spirit's asking you to let go of these old thought patterns. You've been really um, confused is what I'm hearing about where to go, about what you want. Spirit wants you to stop getting in your head about what's not working and start focusing on what you want to create. Start focusing on what it is you want to see more of in your life. Thank you, Spirit. Because you you had the Queen of Wands in reverse. This could be a person for some of you, but I'm feeling like for most of you, this is a part of you that's been blocked from your creative, your creative passion, from your um, sense of self-expression. You are all, yeah, I can feel this in my gut. Wow. You have been stuck in your own mind, creating situations that have been blocking your potential, blocking your confidence, blocking your sense of creativity and your ability to show up and share yourself. Spirit's asking you to quiet your mind and focus on what you wanna create more of. Quiet your mind, get still and just choose what's most important to you and move toward that diligently and that was a channeled message those cards don't necessarily say that but you are being asked to reevaluate the way that you show up in the world 
I just pulled the Nine of Swords and the Knight of Cups in reverse. You're coming out of a lot of disappointment, a lot of heartbreak, and you're resting right now. You're resting, <clears throat> you're healing, and you are closing out some old cycles. Justice is being brought in to, to balance things out, but it's gonna require you to have some clear boundaries with others, but also with yourself. Discipline is what I'm hearing, discipline. And if you don't have a regular routine, if you don't have a ritual, um, th you know, rituals, <clears throat> excuse me, throughout your day that keep you plugged in to yourself, to spirit, to feeling grounded and healthy, you need to start implementing those now. Heal, but in a disciplined way. <clears throat> you need to start choosing and committing to one path. And if that path is your highest path, you need to commit all the way. Yeah, I can feel some resistance here. I actually remember the time that someone told me, a reader that I watched a couple years ago, I don't even remember her name, but she said, you need to commit. And I remember getting mad at her, you know, I mean, not at her, but just at the message. I remember feeling like, fuck you, I've already given so much, like what else could I give? And immediately I got the answer this, 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 that I wasn't fully committed. I thought I was, and I had taken some seriously massive steps, but I hadn't chosen yet. I hadn't fully committed to my path as a healer, as a leader. Spirit's asking you to commit not only to the path, but to yourself, to God, to a life of service. If that is part of your path, which I'm being told for a lot of you, it is whether or not you realize that that is your path you are being guided to a path of service. Wow, y'all, a lot of intense messages. Let's get a goddess oracle card to close it all out and see what we can surmise. Woo, thank you, spirit. What are the messages does this beautiful collective need to hear right now? In order to walk their highest path, their highest timeline, Gui oh, Damara, guiding children. You are good at helping. Oh, this is spirit. You are good at helping, counseling, and healing children. Use your skill, your skills. Excuse me, to help children now. I've never pulled this card before, so I just, I think it's beautiful because of what I was just saying. A lot of you are being pushed toward a path of service if you're not already on one. Uh, we got three messages today. Frasia, bold, unleash your adventurous side, take risks and be daring. Fuck yes, girl. Fuck yes. Be bold, be spontaneous, be fiery. Like show off a little bit. I was wondering why I was being drawn to that cat, like a Leo kind of energy, like a proud lion. Be bold right now. Spirit wants you to step out of the shadows, share your gifts. If you're here to help, step out and help don't worry about money money will fall into place when it's meant to i know that's a hard lesson to learn and i trust me i have been fighting through it myself for the past couple years and it's like the, as soon as i started surrendering it all started clicking into place i'm a believer like i can preach now for real because i fucking know i know what it's like to sacrifice everything i do boldly bravely and you got vesta I did a private reading earlier and this came out. Home, your household situation is improving either through a move or a healthy change in occupants. So you've got some shifts coming in, but I feel like you have to be the one to take the first leap. If you're not happy with where you're living, if you need to move closer to being in nature, like a recent video I posted, if you are wanna live in a situation where you can also be of service or just elevate your life, start making choices, different choices. Make the decisions, uh, priorities, I'm really, there's a lot of energy here. Whoo, sorry. Choose wisely. <sighs> Make decisions and move forward with confidence. You are being guided. You're not alone here. Justice is coming in. You're healing. But ultimately, you're heading right to the life of your dreams. So stay focused, baby. You're on the right track. If you need a private reading or mentorship or any of that good stuff, I'll put it in the description box. But either way, I'm sending so much love. You're not alone.